Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario back again with another trade video. Uh, today I'm going to cover a trade that I did on Tesla. Uh, now I just want to give you a heads up. I did take a loss in Tesla in this a lot of this, a lot of it had to do with my bias. Um, I was too long bias uh, because it broke a very important level 450 450 was a very important level on the daily chart. And I want to make this video because I want to, uh, other traders who made this mistake learn from it. You know, learn from my mistakes and, and learn why this happens. Um, so I'm going to explain how biases, having those deep biases, uh, could actually, um, you know, eventually make you make make uh, allow you to make mistakes that could cost you money and forget about your rules or or even price action things like that. Uh, and again, the reason why I was long biased on Tesla is because yesterday, uh, after hours, it was announced that Tesla was going to be added at, to the S&P 500, and it broke a very important level, which is 450 on a daily chart that I was actually waiting for weeks on. So um, that in itself, you know, got me excited, and I pretty much, you know, threw a lot of my rules out the window. So I'm going to discuss that trade, guys. Uh, again, don't forget to smash that like button if you learned something, and also subscribe to this channel. Uh, let's get started, and let me show you my, my, uh, my screen. So this is what happened, guys. Um, I want to give you an overall bigger picture of what has been happening in Tesla for the last uh, six months. Uh, of course, we had this huge run-up, you know, once they declared a, a, uh, that they were going to get a uh, stock split. Humongous run up after that, it consolidated, it's been consolidated literally since September, like almost like three months. And it has been topping out here at 450. So this 450 level is definitely a very, very key level uh, for, again, like I said, the last three months. And looking at the chart, you know, I've been literally buying on my long term account on these dips, you know, any dips to like 350, even 400. And I've been holding. I've been holding for my in my long term account because I believe in the company. I, I do believe in Tesla and the products the uh, services they offer, and I am a long term investor. But as a day trader, I've also been looking for this 450 uh, breakout to to uh, to make a trade. So it finally broke out today. You know, there was a, a huge uh, there was a very important announcement that Tesla was going to be uh, finally added to the S and P 500 index. Uh, something that it was already been rumored for a couple months. Um, and finally that happened. So of course it is an exciting thing because when uh, a company is added to S&P 500, that means that other institutional investors, large mutual funds, uh, you know, funds of funds, all these stuff and the large institutional investors are going to start buying Tesla because of their own, um, you know, regulations and their own fund specifics, every single stock that's in the S&P 500, they have to own. So of course it's going to be big news uh, for for for, uh, for Tesla. Uh, now, when it broke 450, you could you could see it here in, in the intraday chart. You know, I I was pretty much thinking there was these were the th two things that I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking that it was going to break out over uh, the highs of the pre market over 466, and there was a really good chance that we were going to get a, a uh, open your range breakout or a B. Just because of how uh, Tesla reacts uh, at the open, uh, usually tends to move pretty quick. Uh, the other scenario that I had in mind was that okay, if there's a weak open, I'm gonna long here 450. Again, 450, that's a very very important level. Uh, but this is what happened, guys. This is exactly this is pretty much what happened. Uh, there was a, a there was a uh, intraday support line here pre market around 453, and it actually hit that level and it bounced. And I was looking for 450, and I. And I kind of missed it uh, by, uh, like I said, like a dollar, dollar or something. Um, and, and that for me was like, ah, uh, like it felt like I, I missed it. I almost felt like I missed it, you know, because I didn't actually put this 453 uh, line before the trade. I My initial entry was at 450. So for me, uh, I kind of felt like, oh, dude, I, I started to get a little bit FOMO. I'm going to be honest, because uh, I almost felt like I missed it because it literally started to bounce right off this level and it hit 460. And, and again, at that point, I'm like, dude, did I just miss this trade? What's happening? Uh, so I was looking for a pullback, either to uh, 453 or, or 450. Um, and it literally almost hit 453 and it bounced off. And I do, like, I felt like I missed it again. Um, and this is how price could, you know, mess with your emotions. 
in it, this 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 price action kind of messed with me a little bit. I'm gonna be honest because you know every single time I had a, a an entry, it, it missed it by a little bit and it messed up with my mind. Like it, it really did that. Uh, you know, I missed the first entry here, 450, it went to 453. So it bounced off and it started to pull back. And I'm like, dude, 453 bounces here. I think it could go. Um, and it missed it again. <laughs> so, you know, so I, you know, I hated that and it started to bounce, had a really nice candle. And I was like, dude, I think this thing could trend. I think this thing could trend, you know, and looking good. I think this thing could break out. You know, I'm looking at this little, uh, little double bottom double a uh, W pattern. And I'm like, dude, I think this is it. So that's why I got in. I got in. Uh, and my thought, my thought process was like, okay, I'm going to get in here, you know, and I think it's going to break out. I also have entries here for 50. You know, I think if it does end up pulling back, it might hit 450 and bounce off 450 and we get it go. So that was my thought process. But Again, I failed to recognize the chart and the price action. So that was the mistake that I made. So it did go to 450, but it broke a lower low. So entering on a lower low is really not a good idea. Even if there's a you know, very important support level in a chart, uh, just because it could continue to go down. Um, it's kind of like breaking the death line. You know, there's, once it breaks a certain level, this thing could continue to downtrend. Uh, so that was the first mistake I made. Um, I should have either stopped out when it broke below 53 on this entry, and I shouldn't add it. I, I had this order here, 450. This, this is a mistake. I should have not had this order here. Uh, so I made two mistakes. I chased, based on FOMO, and I added after it broke a lower low. So I made two mistakes right off the bat. Um, so it continued to sell off. And you know the crazy thing about it, I had an other order at 440. So, because my initial my initial uh, thought process was like, okay, if it opens weak, you know, we get a 440, four, I mean 450, 440, 430, and I have entries at those levels. So you know, get in at 450, and at 440, I was I was perfectly fine. Uh, so I, I kind of let the the price action do its thing. Uh, it finally started to kind of kind of like, you know, base up and, 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 you know, I decided, you know, this is where, where things get, get a little messy. You know, when you're down, when you're down on a trade, uh, sometimes you, you start to make even more mistakes and compound your mistakes. Um, I actually decided to take half of the position right here. Once I noticed that this is, was not going to like boss off right away how I expected but I still had half of the position. It kind of held this 4, 450, 46 area. And I was like, dude, I think it's holding. I think it's bouncing. So I decided to add back. <laughs> so this position I took out, I decided to add back. Uh, and, you know, I, I, was, I was looking at this trend line right here. You know, and I was, I'm, I was looking at this trend line. Um, it's starting to boss off, starting to base, but the other reason why I decided to add back is because I noticed that the NASDAQ was starting to trend. The NASDAQ was trending, you know, not only the NASDAQ, but also the S&P 500. They're both trending and they were looking really nice. And I'm like, dude, Tesla is going to go with it. It's going to move. It's going to reverse. Uh, and again, I already had this bias in my head that, hey, Tesla for 450, Hey, it might be, you know, going down below it, but I think those dips are going to get bought off and we're going to break again of 450 and we're probably going to break VWAP, maybe 460. Who knows? This could be an all day trender. So that was overall my, the, the bigger picture that I was looking at. So, um, so I, again, I added here, it started testing 450 and another mistake that I made, I decided to add a 450 because again, major level, I felt like, okay, this is breaking, you know, um, it, you know, this is breaking right here. I think this downtrend, whatever it's been going on here, is going to finally break up and we're going to start reversing and going up. The S&P 500 is moving. Uh, the, uh, the NASDAQ is moving. They all look really good. I think this is going to be it. And my thought process was like, okay, I'm at it here as a confirmation, full size. If it doesn't work, I'm going to stop out if this trend doesn't hold. So that's pretty much what I did. I stopped out. 
so I was like, dude, this sucks, man. Why, why did this happen? Why isn't Tesla, you know, acting accordingly? You know, the market is going, S&P 500 is moving and the NASDAQ is moving uh, and, and Tesla is just not looking so hot. Um, so I, I decided to kind of wait on it and, you know, started a base in here for, 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 uh, for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 446. And, uh, it had this huge washout and it was a, is a, is a, a washout that got, um, absorbed. So when it hit this level, I was like, dude, I'm going to buy this dude. You know, I still believe I'm still believe that this is going to go. I still believe this is going to move. I am still looking at what's happening with the NASDAQ, with the S&P 500. I think this thing could move. So, of course, you know, me being biased, you know, and again, this comes to my bias. And the reason why I did is because of my heavy bias is what's going on. And overall, the, the long-term picture of the chart, I decided to long again. I went again. You know, whatever shares I stopped out here, I decided to go out long again, you know. If this continues a trend, it breaks above 450, hey, it's not going to be so bad, you know. Uh, these, this loss right here ain't going to be so bad. But um, it didn't. It literally reversed again. <laughs> so I got to stop that again because, again, my stop was right here. Reversed again. Uh, but then 450, 446 got absorbed again, absorbed. So I'm like, dude, what is going on here, dude? Uh, Tesla's playing games here. Um, I'm going to get back in because again, I am biased. I'm still long biased. I really think that Tesla could move. Everything's looking good. The NASDAQ is moving. The S&P 500 is moving. I think I'm, I think market maker just playing with me. I'm going to get back in. I got back in again here and I'm looking at this level 448.50. This breaks above this dude. I think this thing can move. We just need some volume. All the thing is missing is volume and it didn't. I kept making lower lows and it broke below this level. This was my stop. And I got out and I was like, dude, something's not looking good. I am done with this Tesla trade. This is not looking how I expected. Um, and I took some paper cuts and those paper cuts added. So I am glad that um, I did got off because if you guys could see this thing trended crazy on the downside. Um, and again, I made a couple mistakes. I broke my discipline. I broke my rules. Again, a lot of it had to do with being overly biased, you know, be having too much bias in the long side, just because again, I've been waiting for this Tesla, uh, to break over 450 that when it broke, I was excited. I was thinking, you know, I'm buying all these dips, man. I'm buying all these dips around 450 below that. <laughs> you know, I think this thing can move, but I failed to recognize a price action. Uh, and I broke some of my rules. One, I chased right here. Two, I uh, created a lower low. I shouldn't have added here. I should have waited for another higher high, higher, a lower high, you know, uh, you know, so or a higher low. So, and I, and I did it. You know, I was too biased. I was adding, uh, you know, 450 and I was adding, you know, right here too. Um, so I failed to recognize a price action and I paid the price. Now I did end up losing more than I would usually risk uh, on my, one of my trades. Uh, so, and that was another thing too. When, when you're heavily biased, what ends up happening too is that when you are losing, but you're still believing that trade, you still believe in the overall picture. Um, even if the chart is telling you something different, you will be willing to risk more <laughs> because you want to be proven right. You want to be right. You know, you don't want to be wrong. You want to be like, dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat the market makers. I am right. I know I'm right, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what causes a lot of traders to lose. Uh, and it got me today. It really did. Uh, so I, you know, overall guys, um, I hope you guys learned something from this trade that I did. Uh, cause that is something that a lot of, uh, traders do, uh, do face. And it happens to a lot of traders when, you're overly biased on, on being long or short. You sometimes fail to, to really pay attention to the price action, what the price is telling you, uh, because of its other outside forces, whether it be your own bias or whether it be the market and what they're doing. Um, and then you fail to recognize your mistakes. 
And sometimes because you're so biased, you don't want to be wrong. You want to be proven right that you're willing to risk a little bit more than you're usually risk. Uh, and that's exactly what happened to me today. So uh, again, I hope you guys learned something from, from this video, guys. Be careful with your biases. Uh, you know, if your initial plan does not work, get out, get out because usually, um, you know, if you hold that bias, you can lose money. So again, don't forget to uh, so smash that like button, subscribe to this channel if you learn something. Feel free to ask any questions. If you guys have any questions uh, down on the YouTube comments and I'll be answering to all of them. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care. See you next time. Have a good one.